There is no player in the world of hockey being talked about more right now than Canadian super prospect Connor Bedard. And after his incredible performance last night in the quarterfinal World Juniors game versus Slovakia, Bedard is only continuing to add to his spectacular season and proving that he may be very well worthy of all the hype he's been getting. 17-year-old center from British Columbia will almost surely be selected number one overall in one of the most anticipated drafts in years coming up this summer. Bedard is having the best draft year season we have seen since Connor McDavid with the Erie Otters, and his performance in the World Juniors this year could go down as the best individual performance of all time at the tournament. In yesterday's matchup, Bedard literally broke three records, now having the most goals and points by Canadian in World Juniors history, and breaking the record for most points in a single tournament by a Canadian, which was 18. Bedard currently has 21 in 5 games. Connor likely won't be able to beat Peter Forsberg's all-time points record of 31 in a single tournament, but he is putting up numbers that haven't been touched in decades, and is putting his name up against many of the greatest prospects in hockey history. Not only is Bedard lighting it up during international play, but he's also been the best player in junior hockey so far this year too. Currently with 27 goals and 64 points in 28 games for Regina of the WHL. Those 64 points are the most of anyone in the WHL or OHL, and the only player with more right now in all of the CHL is Jordan Dumais, who has 68 in the QMJHL for Halifax. What Bedard did in the first few games for Canada against Austria, Germany, and Sweden was obviously extremely impressive. Some of the goals he scored and plays he made in those games will be shown on his extensive highlight tape all year long. But what he was able to do in the elimination quarterfinal game last night against Slovakia was his best moment yet. Not only did Bedard score the game's first goal to break the ice, but he was also a hound on the puck all game long, firing pucks on net and trying to make incredible plays. And of course, when Canada needed him most, after the team let go of a 3-1 lead, Bedard made an incredible big-time play in overtime to show just how big-time of a player he really is. This goal sets up a semi-final matchup against Canada's arch-rival the United States, which could end up being one of the best games of the tournament if we're lucky. I'm super excited to watch tomorrow's game and to see if Connor Bedard can continue to build on his already magical tournament and season in general. I am an American, so I will be rooting for the U.S., but I am eager to see if the U.S. can do what no team has really done all tournament, besides in Game 1, which is stop Bedard. Let me know what you think of the tournament Bedard has had so far, if you think he's worth all the hype, and what your predictions are for tomorrow's game. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.